So this video is all about the right sunscreens to use for the right skin type. I've made so many mistakes when it comes to purchasing sunscreens because I didn't know the right one that was good for my face and that was suitable for my skin type. So I, you know, was not using the right sunscreen all the time. The reason why I know I was not using the right sunscreen was because it's either when I use a sunscreen, it leaves a white cast on my face or my face becomes very oily. And you know, too much of oil can also produce pimples. So I had to be very intentional, but being intentional means I had to try different sunscreens because I did not know. And I do not want you to do that. We want to protect ourselves from the UV rays so you have to use sunscreens it does not matter wherever you are at in your skincare journey please do not skip your sunscreen because if you have problems with sunburns girl it's gonna take you a fortune to treat that you don't want this so just invest in a good sunscreen and i am going to show you different types of sunscreens and show you which one will work best for your skin type Sunscreens usually come in a smaller amount. They are usually 50 ml, that is for the face. So if you're buying a sunscreen that is 50 ml and you're going to use that same sunscreen for your face and your entire body, girl, it's not gonna last you even two weeks because 50 ml is very small and, and you using that same sunscreen on your face and using the same thing on your body, it's not gonna last. And the fact that sunscreens are expensive, yes, they are expensive. You don't want to buy a sunscreen that is 50 ml and use it for your entire body. You don't have to do that. So um, I went to Target sometime and I came across this. It's not pricey. It's not really affordable, but I feel like the price is good for the quantity that you get this is like a whole body lotion so this is the copper tone copper tone sunscreen lotion and this lotion is it says it blends clear on all skin tones and it gives no white residue okay so if you don't want to have any white residue on your body this is like a good sunscreen that you can use you can try I use this and it gives me this glow I love this and I just saw it in Target and I was like you know let me just buy this and give it a try and I think it's been worth it so this is like a good one that you can use for your skin the first sunscreen I started using on my body was this one so this is the black girl sunscreen and it's not a bad one actually it's very good very very good however my only problem i have with this particular um sunscreen is it produces so much oil if you are somebody who has an oily skin type i'm not going to recommend this sunscreen for you because it's gonna make your face more oily and remember if you're oily skin type you're trying to minimize the oils on your face and you're not trying to you know produce more oils because trust me if you apply this sunscreen your face will just be shining in the sun and like i don't want it okay i don't want that i don't know if you want it okay but i don't want my face to be oily especially like in between my nose area like it'll be producing so much oils and i'm like oh my god <laughs> this is not the right sunscreen for me however like i've been using it for a long time so all these sunscreens that I bought, I did not buy them at a goal because if you buy them at a goal, it's going to cost you so much. So some of them, I bought them like months earlier. This particular one, I've had it since last year. And yes, it's going to expire in 2025. So I'm safe. I do check the expiry days of all the products that I use on my body because I know that they can play a role in how my skin thrives. So I'm always very particular about the expiration day because i don't want to use any product that has you know expired on my body because it's gonna cause problems and i don't want that i'm trying to avoid that so i've had this since last year like i've i had it since when i was in ghana so i started using this back in ghana but to be honest i was not really using my sunscreens religiously back in ghana but over here <laughs> I am very intentional about using sunscreens all the time. So I've had this for a long time. So this is not even recent. I didn't purchase this 
here in the United States. However, this makes my face feel very oily, so I would highly recommend this particular one for people with dry skin type. So if you have like dry skin type, you can use this particular one. But if you have like oily skin, I'm not gonna recommend this for you. However, this is very good on the body. But like I told you, you don't want to buy sunscreen that is expensive and then be using it on your, on your body because in as much as you also want to prevent sunburns from your body i feel like the body is already protected like if you're wearing protective clothing if you're covering your body and not exposing it too much to the sun you don't have to be using your face sunscreen on your body the one that i showed you is like a good one you can use on your body but this particular one is strictly for the face, the neck area, and then you are good to go. I saw this particular one in Target some time ago, like a couple months ago. It's been a while. This particular one is more oily. So if you're like somebody who wants your skin to glow, who wants your skin to, you know, you know, be shining in the sun, this is like a good option. If you're going to the beach and you're going to show some skin, obviously, this this particular one from the black girl sunscreen is also very good this one is called make it glow so this is like a sunscreen spray this is another alternative i'm not gonna recommend oily people to use the sunscreen on their face because girl it's gonna make you more oily because uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, don't do that <laughs> don't fry your face okay do not fry your face but this is like a good alternative to use all over your body it, it will just give you the glow like it will just give you this glow just look at it do you see do you see it like it just makes your skin glow more the next sunscreen that i'm going to recommend for you or the next sunscreen i'm going to share with you is this one from la roche posay this particular one they have different types so la roche posay has different types of sunscreens and i think sunscreens from this brand is quite expensive because I was not even going to purchase this one but this was like you know a little bit affordable and that was why I purchased it I purchased it because I thought I was going to do the work I wanted it to do but I don't like how it feels on my face it kind of leaves this white cast like just a little bit of white cast on your face just a little bit not too much if you are like going to use a sunscreen and apply a makeup on it's gonna feel like you're using like a primer I mean the matte kind of primer so nobody's gonna see it but if you're not going to apply any makeup on it you're going to use the sunscreen alone it just gets a little bit of white cast which I'm very disappointed for the price but it is good for oily skin so if you're oily skin and you're looking for something that is dry enough for your face this particular one I may recommend it I'm not fully recommending this because it leaves a little bit of white cast on the face but la roche posay has this particular one it comes like in the lotion form it's quite expensive but i did not get it. i feel like maybe i should have just saved my money and bought that one but you know i needed to use sunscreen because all the ones that i already purchased i feel like they were more efficient for dry skin and i have like an oily skin type even though they are not working for me like i want them to work for me i bought it with the money and I'm not wasting it, so I'm still going to use it regardless. This particular one is strictly for the face, so this is SPF 60. And this is in 50 ml. You don't have to buy a sunscreen which is 50 ml and apply it all over your body, like I always tell you. This is strictly just for the face and your neck area, and then you are done. But I mean, I recommend it for everyone, you know, because of the fact that it leaves a white cast on the face sometimes. I mean, not sometimes. It leaves white cast, but you know, some of the white cast is on a different level. But this particular one is okay, like it's manageable. But if you have money to buy the other one, I will show you guys a picture of it on the screen. The one that I would recommend for you to buy if you have like an oily skin. And as much as I would love to give you prizes for these sunscreens, I may not be able to give you the accurate prizes of these sunscreen because some of these sunscreens i bought them last year some of them i bought them in the beginning of the year so i've had them around for a while and because i really wanted to do this video about sunscreens i have been keeping these sunscreens okay so i may not give you the accurate amount 
but I know that some of them were on the pricey side so maybe right now you're just gonna buy it more than how much I bought it maybe last year on the beginning of the year. This sunscreen is from e.l.f. so this is the invisible sunscreen and it's true it is very invisible when you put it on your skin it melts into your skin like gently i love the fact that this particular one does not leave any white cast however this particular one is good for dry skin type it's not good for oily skin type if you're oily skin type see your face is already producing oils you do not want to add more oils to your face it makes your face look very soggy I, I don't like it i don't know if you can handle it but i cannot handle a face that's looking so oily and all of that so this particular one is really good i love the fact that it does not leave any white cast this particular one does not leave white cast but it is more efficient for people with dry skin type if you have an oily skin type i'm not gonna recommend this the last sunscreen for today this particular one is a sunscreen stick now there has been some upgrades with sunscreens okay we have sunscreen spray we have sunscreen mousse we have sunscreen um lotion and then we have sunscreen stick so this is an example of a sunscreen stick as tiny as this thing looks this is worth twelve dollars and some cents it's from the brand sun sun balm this is my first time using it and this is in 30 spf this is how it looks like when you take the covering off and then you try to you know do it this way so while i try do you all see how it comes out this is it so this is a sunscreen stick you apply it on your face so this particular one i have it in my bag always because you know you're supposed to apply sunscreen after every is it 80 minutes it depends on the brand but you have to apply sunscreens i think after every 80 minutes and if you're in the office i feel like this is very simple you just take out your sunscreen stick and then you know just reapply it on your face or if you're just going out to get lunch this is the end of today's video i hope you learned something new and most importantly please be applying your sunscreens religiously because your skin is gonna thrive in this summer season if you use your sunscreen consistently i am not a skin expert i am not a dermatologist i am just sharing my experience and i'm sharing products that worked for me and products that did not work for me so that you get to save your money and you don't have to spend your money on things that may not work for you so i feel like i was able to find more options for people with dry skin but i am still looking out there to find more options for people with oily skin type if you made it to this point of the video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you have not liked please like this video leave a comment subscribe if you've not subscribed enjoy the family i'll see you all in my next video 